This is Alistair Young at RedHunter.com and in this video I'll be describing the uh, little backpack I've uh, made for the Ace 128 uh, encoder from uh, Borns. This is an absolute uh, positioning encoder. It gives you 128 positions around uh, the circle. It spits out gray code. We can't use gray code directly so and we also don't want to use eight pins every time so uh, we go through a, a PCF A574A uh, expander chip to stick this on the I2C bus so you can have multiple of these multiple knobs on your device and uh, the library takes care of translating all the uh, uh, the gray code into a useful number you can actually use um, so uh, there's a specific uh, translation table that's used on this uh, device, 8765-4321. Uh, other features of the board, we have our uh, 0.1 inch uh, I2C header here. Uh, there's enough space on either side to mount a locking header, uh, so you can put that on either side. Uh, there's also a mount here for a Grove, if you're a Grove person, and that also can be put on either side. Uh, these holes here are for vertical mounting of uh, through-hole resistors if you want to put your I2C termination on this device. So that's all optional. Over here there's the teensy weensy little address jumpers which will be bigger in the next batch. Uh, you must connect all three of these to something. Uh, I ship them, I pick a random number for each one. This one is 3D. Uh, they're all going to be between uh, 3.8 and 3F uh, for the uh, A chips. Um, and that's the device. It's very compact. It's not much bigger than the device itself. Uh, future ones I'll probably bring it all the way around the end just to make it easier to solder. Um, but there we go, that's what it is. How you would test this, how I test these before they ship, um, I'm going to make a better jig in future but I did the, all these on the breadboard. Uh, you need to take your uh, uh, Ace 128 test script, uh, we need to put it in the right mapping table so we'll change that to 87654321 and we'll also put that in the reference where we use it here 87654321 now this one here is actually 39 uh, so we're going to change the address here to 39 and then we'll upload that to the Arduino and we're done and now it should, as we turn these, all the pins will show as done and we start seeing nice rising numbers. So this is a working device. That's it. Um, these will be available soon in the uh, Tindy store. I'm setting up a Tindy store uh, so I can ship these so that I can get some funds to buy some, buy some bits to make some more stuff. So I um, look forward to hearing from you.